Our Lady, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, St. Joseph, Pope St. Pius V, our patron saints and guardian angels, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Today we celebrate Pope St. Pius V, the Pope who is quite famous because of many of the things that he did to, in his day, to give the church direction and and guided it in a time of great peril. Many conflicts were raging at that time in Christian Europe, not only among the Christians themselves because of the Protestant revolt. The church was being attacked from within and also being attacked from without because of the Turks who were invading or wanting to invade Europe. And we know Pope St. Pius V, that great Pope of the Rosary who asked all of Christendom to pray the rosary to, to spare Europe from the coming invasion of the Ottoman Turks. And of course, we know the famous Battle of Lepanto and the great uh, role that Our Lady and her rosary played in that, that great victory. And as we are approaching, you know, the month of May, the month that is really especially dedicated to the rosary because we, of course, have the message of Our Lady of Fatima in May. Uh, this reminds us again of the importance of the rosary uh, and the need we need to pray for the church to overcome those who are trying to oppose it or oppress it today. Uh, they take different forms and different tactics, but still the church is embroiled in an ongoing battle, which we know has been already prophesied from the beginning of creation at the, in Genesis, where our Lord said to the serpent, I'll put enmity between thee and the woman, between her seed and yours. You shall strike at her heel, and she shall crush your head. Pope St. Pius V understood Our Lady's role that she was really the strength of the church. She is really the one that the church turns to in times of need when it's under attack. And we need to pray, especially today again, Our Lady's Rosary, because it has shown as the Battle of Lepanto is already, always there in front of us, the great feast of Our Lady of the Rosary to remind us of the role that she has to play. You know, we have in our society and in our modern world, we have, you know, democracies and we talk about political action and all this and that, and it may have its, it has its place. And we are to be good citizens and we are to speak out and to give witness. But as Pope St. Pius V understood that really our, our strength lies in supernatural means, that to the degree that we pray and do penance, and especially turn to Our Lady and ask her for the graces and help that we need, then our actions will have more effect and will be truly fruitful. But if we try to do it first the other way around, do all kinds of activity and treat prayer as if it's somehow, oh, just something we do in case we need it, then we're not going to succeed. Pope St. Pius V reminds us of the importance of of turning to Our Lady and the importance of Marian prayer uh, is so essential in our world today as it was in his day. He also is the Pope who uh, codified and kind of helped systematize the liturgy, the, the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, uh, because it was maybe so many different uh, ways of celebrating and Maybe there was uh, some abuses creeping in, and so he wanted to make sure that the Mass was celebrated with dignity and with proper uh, decorum, and also that it was done in a way that was worthy of God. And so he saw the need to reform and to codify the liturgy. Uh, he was a very humble Dominican friar who tried to, we might say, stay out of the limelight. And the more he was raised up in the church from being a simple uh, friar and theologian who taught in the seminary, when he was raised up to being a bishop, you know, he went about doing his work, not trying to attract attention, 
in any way. And then when he was made a cardinal, it seems that the more they elevated him, the more humble and more kind of hidden he tried to become. But he couldn't stay out of the sight of St. Charles Borromeo, who was the one who helped uh, convince the church fathers that they needed to make him the pope. And uh, thanks be to God that uh, uh, God and Our Lady was especially able to use him to help uh, the church in time of need. And we ask today that Our Lady will assist our Holy Father, that he will see the enemies of the church and see the proper methods needed to confront them today with prayer, especially to Our Lady, to overcome all those who are trying to um, insert their falsehood and insert their agendas, and that uh, Our Lady will come again as she always does, and that we would turn to her, especially uh, in these times when people are trying to attack the church in maybe more crafty ways than, than the Turks did. The Turks were quite open in using force of arms. Today they're using the crafty wildness of a serpent, you know, and concocting, you know, very devious arguments and, and sophistries. But yet Our Lady is the destroyer of all heresies and all lies and falsehood. We ask her to come today again to assist us in fighting the good fight. Pope St. Pius V understood. We do everything we can, but that we entrust it and pray especially with great fervor to Our Lady and her rosary to come to our assistance. So today as we are in the end of this month and as we go into the Marian month of May, let us once again see the importance and the necessity of Our Lady and her rosary and that we truly will pray it with greater fervent, fervor, devotion, meditating on the mysteries, that we will, as Pope John Paul II said, St. John Paul II, you know, he said that praying the rosary is meditating on the, the mysteries of our Lord's life through and in the heart of Mary, and that we would truly enter in deeper into the life of Christ so that we can live the life of Christ uh, today uh, in the 21st century. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.